So this is uh, Aaron Geyer. I'm here to talk about um, my next episode in my trip to the Philippines. So this is day two. Um, one of the problems uh, that I encountered is a philosophical problem. And that is what defines a day? The problem is that um, on the second day, we never saw the sunrise, we never saw sunset, there wasn't any daylight, and um, the day was over for us when we crossed the international uh, date line. So what constitutes a day? Is it a day, is it a 24-hour day? Is it a calendar day? So what I decided to go with is just the time or the day that we experienced when we were traveling. So whatever the local day was while we were traveling, um, that's what I decided to pick as a day. So I've got this uh, chart from uh, timeanddate.com and it's one of my favorite charts for uh, looking at different cities and the, the time differences and so on. Uh, we are in the Eastern time zone it's the same time zone as New York City. Um, we, we are from Ottawa. In day two, we start in Toronto. We fly to Vancouver. And then we fly towards uh, Manila here in the Philippines. And so Philippine time is uh, actually 13 hours ahead of Eastern time. So the way we compare it is going this way. But flying, we fly this way. There's actually 11 time zones we have to cross. So um, today's uh, episode will start in Toronto and it will end on the international dateline. We, we end somewhere in here. We're just going to go check out the Philippine Airlines. Is this the plane we're getting on here for uh, Manila? Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's for our first time. Yeah. How many days are you going to spend there? I'm sorry? How many days are you going to stay? We're going to stay for 21 days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, thank you. Some Tobler on here. Yep. Tobler. Yeah, it's pretty fat. Thank Very you. delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. <laughs> and I get one for myself. At this time, we now like to invite passengers seated on rows 41 to 72. All right, so they're calling people on board now. Uh, we're not, we didn't get our numbers called yet. Um, you can see I'm 37. Anyway, um, should be a few more minutes and we'll be uh, on board the plane. So don't be scared. Yeah, well, yeah, we could all use a little more sleep, eh? Hello. Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So I'm just through the check-in here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna slow board down. Wait for the rest of the family. Oh, you guys made it through. Here comes Cora. See, so we're gonna go across the uh, the little bridge here. There's the plane here. Are you scared? Why are you scared? I don't know, I just feel like it. Sorry, I'm not 
mommy, I'm sleepy. You're but, sleepy? Um, I'm going to hug mom. Pass. Okay, we showed the boarding passes. Yes. Okay. This is the boarding passes. Hi. Okay, you may take the first aisle, sir. Okay. Hello, welcome aboard. Thank you. Hi, good up. Okay, you may go first and then pull your back for you to. Okay. 37. Alright, so we're on the plane now and uh, everybody's just trying to find their seat, trying to find a place to put their luggage. Okay, Here, I'll turn it on, you can talk. Okay, uh, I have, and we're going to the Philippines. Kind of scary, but I'm very scared my mind says so because I didn't get sleep. <laughs> I got my pillow. Alright, I'm going to blow this up. There you go. There's your pillow. Sort of like being on a, a roller coaster. Can you feel the acceleration? Or is it the jerk? Can you feel the jerk? Alright, we're off the ground. We're off. Yep, we're off. It's pretty cool, eh? Vancouver. 
we're just about ready to land in Vancouver. We've got about maybe five, ten minutes. And uh, well, that'll be the end of this like fourth leg. We're still waiting for the plane to take off. We're still in Vancouver and we're gonna start our fifth leg of the journey and the final leg to the Philippines. All right, and this is gonna be a 14 hour trip. So uh, we're gonna have to be creative on this one. We've left Vancouver. We're on our way to Manila and we got this kit here. We try to open it up. It comes with uh, a toothbrush. It's something to cover your eyes with. And uh, some fresh pair of socks. Alright, anyway, thanks Philippine Airlines. This episode is actually covers about 12 to 13 hours of uh, that's how long our day was um, it wasn't a 24-hour day but what's interesting about it is uh, you'll notice that the the times and dates in our footage um, look like it was around 2 30 in the morning when we left in Toronto and then it was like about seven maybe just after seven in the morning when we got to the international dateline and the reason is is because uh, the time zone, every time we go across the time zone, we, we gain an hour. So it, it, it's almost like time just seemed to drag. Like as we traveled, every two hours of traveling seemed to be only, we only seemed to use one, we, the clock only went up one hour. So it was kind of weird. It was like everything was kind of like, it's, it's like time just kind of slowed down. And uh, it was it was an interesting experience. So it kind of... That's why I'm, uh, I had this sort of philosophical uh, questions in my mind about what is a day. And my wife describes uh, traveling to the Philippines as confusing. And uh, now I understand why. So it's um, an interesting experience. And that's it.